Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Address your self-esteem issues. Address your self-esteem issues. Ladies, this is very important. Now, when I talked about uh, the only thing you have in common with bad men, with the bad men you date in my last episode, a big part of it is a lot of ladies got low self-esteem. You don't feel good about yourself. Ladies, the first person you got to love is yourself. Don't expect anybody else to love you. And when I say love yourself, be realistic and don't, you know, don't pump yourself up loving yourself, talking about, well, I'm a dime or anything. Ladies, first of all, you know you're not a dime. Shoot, even some real dimes don't think they're dimes. And that's cool. But don't pump yourself up. One of the things is start with what you're good at doing. That's the first thing. Start, start there with what you're good at doing. And in fact, hold up. You know what? Check that one, check that one, hold up. Because I know y'all, y'all concerned about how y'all look, hence the makeup industry. All right, focus on that. Focus on the good parts that you have. Focus on what's been complimented. Most of y'all been complimented on something, legitimately complimented on something. Focus on that, you know? Hey, if you, hey, if you slim, okay, cool. If you uh, curvier, okay, cool. As long as you're healthy, no matter what you built like, and just, you know, fix your face to the best extent possible, you know, and love what you got. Accept it. In fact, the sexiest women to many men are the ones who love themselves. And that don't mean you got to be like, yeah, I'm the bomb, get your nose up in the air. You just feel good about yourself. Feel good with looking yourself in the mirror. Have a relationship with yourself. With, and what that generally mean? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Eat well. Have a good healthy diet. Exercise. Take a good shower. Seriously. And when I say take a shower, not just to cleanse yourself, take your time. Shoot, run that bubble bath and everything. Treat yourself well. Now, ladies, I know that can be tough because you've heard from some people that you're this and that. Learn a lesson from men. We get it all the time. We get it all the time. We told, we told everything in the book. You know, after a while, we develop a, a thick skin. Because the reality is, there's always going to be somebody who don't like you. Somebody going to come at you, and it could be for a myriad reasons. Okay, you still got to love yourself and work on it. Now, if for whatever reason you have low self-esteem because of issues from childhood or uh, uh, emotional abuse from parents or just bad situations, therapy. Therapy. I'm serious. Therapy. Talk it out. You know, talk it out. What did you learn? Also, what did you learn from the lesson? And the reality is you got to move on. You can't spend the rest of your life not feeling good about yourself. Because when you have those low self-esteem, what do you do? You're not going to eat well. You might overeat and unhealthily. You might get caught up in using illegal substances. You will get into bad relationships because, look, let, let me just focus on that one. Because y'all be watching here for relationships anyway. You'll get into a bad relationship because you don't feel like you can do better. Let's just be real. A lot of, guys, a lot of women go for bad guys because you don't think you deserve better. Even if a guy, now the guy could be, a guy could approach you. Approach you first. Let's think about, let's think about this scenario. A guy could approach you. Approach you. Have a genuine interest. Genuinely think that you're very beautiful. Genuinely think it. Now this guy, he got everything you want. Let's, let's, let's give him the whole smorgasbord of everything that in general women will say they want in a guy. All right? You know, at least what y'all say on social media. Okay, he tall, he handsome, he got a nice muscular body. You know, if you like, if you like hair, he got that. If you like him uh, baldies, he got that. He got beard game going if that's what you like. 
Oh, he's smooth. He smell good too. He smell. You look at his picture and you think, oh yeah, he smell good. He got all of that. Are you ready for that? Because I remember, I never forget an article I read in a magazine. Uh, this is back in the 90s, but I still see the case where this woman said she finally met this guy who matched everything on her list. Then she realized she wasn't ready. And the reason why? You don't feel like you deserve that guy because you don't feel like you can handle him. So what do you do? You get a guy who has none of those things. You know? Shoot, I know, hey, that's why a lot of women, they might meet that guy because they don't know what to do. But what is it? You don't love yourself enough. Your self-esteem is too low. You know, you don't think you can handle that guy. You think he's going to cheat. There's been many a woman who have a decent guy and the guy don't want to cheat. Contrary to popular belief, all men don't cheat. But the woman, if he look good enough, the woman's like nervous, constantly nervous. You know, oh, he going to do this or that. He's going to leave me. That's a self-esteem issue. Instead of saying, you know what, he found you attractive. You should feel good enough to be able to hold on to him. That's the thing. But how you going to feel that you haven't addressed your self-esteem issues? Seriously. And as I always say, don't be afraid to get uh, therapy. Don't be afraid. I'm, I'm going to always recommend for a lot of ladies because I'm going to tell you what. In my lifetime, I've known a lot of women who've gotten therapy for different reasons. Seriously, I've had women have casual conversations. Yeah, I said this to my therapist. And I was like, wow. You know? And that's cool. That's cool. Because don't lose out on something good. A genuine good man. A genuine good man. Because you don't feel like on some level you deserve him. Or you feel like, you know, as soon as he finds somebody else, he's going to roll out. There's a lot of ladies like that. But you don't love yourself. And I'm going to tell you what, even for the ladies who dip down, get that bad guy. If you don't love yourself, how can you expect that man to love you? I'm serious. How can you expect it? Because if you don't love yourself, you project you giving out a vibe. And men, despite what many men think, we do feel a vibe. You know, many just not conscious of it. If you give off that vibe that you ain't shit and you don't feel good about yourself, well, guess what? You're going to get a guy who's going to treat you that way. He's going he's gonna to be like, he'll consciously say, you know what? She don't feel good about herself. Let me just dog out. He don't give a fuck. He'll be like, bitch, how, whatever. And he'll keep going because you don't feel good. You'll go along with it. All right. So you got to really address those self-esteem issues. You, you have to address it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts, all right? So anyway, ladies, I want y'all to really think about that, all right? And of course, as always, I'll get back with you. P peace and blessings. <laughs>